This tutorial covers building timelines using sublevels on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. These functions are only available from the menu in both switchers. It is assumed that the viewer has already seen the other related tutorials on using EMEMS to build effects, timelines, and master EMEM level operations. The Cayenne and Carrera switchers provide the additional feature of dividing each EMEM level into sublevels. Select only one ME bank in Master EMEM and in the Timeline Edit menu, select Show Sub Levels. This will display all of the sublevels within an ME. Using sublevels provides the ability to build effects that only control certain parts of an ME bank or allow individual key or timelines to be time adjusted relative to each other. By default, all of these sublevels are turned on, so a normal learn of an effect will always learn all parts of the ME. If a sublevel, such as Key or 3, is disabled, the Learn button on the panel will turn blue, indicating that some parts of the ME are not currently included in the learn operation. If a normal learn is performed at this time, by pressing Learn followed by a register number, the sublevel will be automatically turned back on to ensure a normal learn will always be the entire ME bank. To keep the sublevel state with key year 3 disabled, perform the learn with the blue learn button held down at the moment the register is learned and the modified sublevel state will be stored. Within an ME, there are up to 23 sublevels that can be controlled. The number of sublevels available depends on the ME mode, any key or assignments that have been changed, and if the ME partition information has been moved to the primary ME level. Each of the four full function keyers are split into three separate components keyer, key wipe, and IDPM. The keyer sublevel includes most keyer settings such as clip and gain, linear or chroma keyer, etc and the on or off state of the keyer. The key wipe sublevel controls the key wipe information and the IDPM sublevel controls all of the keyer IDPM settings. An example of using sublevels is when using a keyer such as keyer 6 to key in a bug or a logo. When an effect is recalled on an ME, it may not be known if the logo needs to be on or off. By turning off Keyer 6 from EMM Control, it is possible to build and run different effects that will not affect the state of Keyer 6 when EMM recalls different effects on that ME. As the sublevels can be different in each EMM register, one effect can be used to set up the Key 6 source and other requirements of the logo, while subsequent EMMs do not change Keyer 6's parameters. An operator can then manually turn on or off the logo while recalling other effects that do not change the state of the keyer. To build an effect that does not change keyer 6, simply turn off the enable for keyer 6 under the sublevels page, then learn the effect using the learn partial button on the recall run page. Or, on the panel, the learn can be performed by holding down the blue learn button while learning into a register. In the timeline view menu, double clicking on the ME level button will display all of the sublevels in the effect. Notice that keyer 6 is missing. Effects can now be created as normal and keyframes inserted, deleted, or modified without keyer 6 being involved in the effect. Sublevels provide an extra level of control flexibility when needed. Often leaving all sublevels enabled and using the default learn is the quickest and easiest way to build most effects. Here is an example effect that is easier to build using sublevels. The effect moves four IDPM channels on one ME bank across the screen, each move being delayed from the previous one. Without sublevels, this would be difficult to build as each start point would require a keyframe to determine the start of the next IDPM box and also the position of the current box. While it can be built traditionally, any changes that may be required later to an individual IDPM channel 
would also require all of the keyframes to be modified or new keyframes inserted. This is not an easy task. Here is a better way to build the effect using sublevels. First, position the four boxes at the start points and learn into a register. This sets the start point for the four IDPM boxes, the four keyers to on, as well as all of the other ME parameters. In this effect, only the four IDPM channels move. So under the Timeline Edit menu, select Show Sub Levels and delegate only the four IDPM channels. Return to the Show Timelines menu and scroll down to show the delegated sublevels. Move the four IDPM boxes to the right side of the screen and insert a keyframe. The effect as it is now will run all four IDPM boxes together. All that is now needed is to delay the start of each channel by the required amount and the effect is finished. This method allows the start time of each sublevel timeline to be changed independent of each other, as well as add, delete, or modify keyframes from each sublevel timeline. Under EMEM Preferences, in the Suite Prefs menu, one of the choices for setting control of an item was definable. When a controlled item is made definable, the item is not related to any master EMEM level and is essentially floating and available for use in any effect. In this case, we have made the Clip Store 1 channel definable so it is no longer associated with the Clip Store 1 level button in the miscellaneous level area of Master Email. Note that this change would also affect any existing effects that control the Clip Store Channel 1 as part of a Master Email. So use caution when making changes to any EMEM preferences. Returning to the Show Sub Level Display will now show the Clip Store channel as an additional controllable sublevel that can now be used in any effect. Making an item definable provides additional flexibility in building effects. However, it also requires that individual items must be enabled using sublevels for every effect that uses those items. This in general makes most effects more complicated to build so it is recommended that items are normally assigned to standard master EMEM levels for building effects and are made definable only when this method of use is beneficial. Keep in mind that any changes to the EMEM preferences assignments will affect any previously built effects and may cause them not to run correctly. This concludes the tutorial on sublevels.